Hi guys, and welcome to a new edition of You Ask and We Kind of Answer, in which you ask us questions and we attempt to answer them. The one question that we get asked the most is how much does it cost to buy a boat and cruise the world? Another one is how do you afford to have a boat and sail around the world? But we'll keep this one for another time. The answer to the question how much does it cost is a complicated one because the same way that there isn't one price for living in a house or living in an apartment, the cost of cruising depends a little bit on who you are, uh, what kind of boat you're looking for, where in the world you want to sail and what kind of comfort you expect to find on board your boat. I could tell you how much our life costs, how much we spend on our boat, how much the maintenance costs, how much we spend on food and entertainment, on clothes, on marinas, on fuel, but you guys would get the picture of my life, my choices. And so with a few friends, we decided that it was time to give a little more nuanced answer. The friends in question are Marky, who lives and sails on board his 1974 32-foot catch. I think the name of it is a MacWester White. And Scott and Mia, who sail an ML54, both of which we are going to compare to our Beneteau Oceanis 40 from 2007. Those three boats are a pretty good representation of what you will typically find at an anchorage or at a liveaboard marina. Marquis boat, Romer, is the perfect representation of the budget boat. Like, it costs around 10,000 euros, it's a little smaller and it requires some upgrade. But it's the perfect alternative to cruise on the cheap. Our Benito Oceanis 40 from 2007 is fairly representative of those second-hand mid-range production boats that, although are not the most expensive boats out there, enable us to sail the world with the comfort offered by modern boats. Scott and Mia's beautiful ML54 is one of those beautiful boats that you see at the marina that cost about the price of a downtown apartment but also offers the comfort of a downtown apartment and the latest technology. Obviously, there are millions of nuances of boats between and beyond our three boats, but hopefully this gives you some kind of reference. I was initially gonna make one video with those three boats, but giving you all the details would have taken 40 minutes and I figured that for everybody's sake, it was better to divide it in three parts. Generally speaking, one could say that you can divide the cost of cruising into two different categories, the boat expenses and the living expenses. In these videos, we are going to focus on the expenses related to the boat. Now, if you're interested in how to completely budget for cruising, um, let us know in the comment section and I'll make another video about that. But today we are focusing on the cost of ownership and cruising. So in this mini series, we are going to check out the boats, talk about how it is to live on those boats, what's the level of comfort like, and we are going to compare the market value of the boat, how much it costs annually to maintain those boats, how is the marina budget looking like, the fuel cost and insurance, and there is one less category, I forget what it is, but anyhow, without further ado, we're gonna dive right in and we're gonna go back to El Merimar, where Polar Steel is currently docked and where we filmed this video, and we're gonna go meet Marky on Roamer. Also, if you have any questions for Marky at the end of this video, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I will make sure that Marky sees them and answer. Uh, I have a, a center cockpit, which is uh, very good for single-handed sailing because you're a lot more protected, you're enclosed. Um, and like I say, Roma is a very basic boat. Um, I don't have radar, I don't have AIS, I don't have a lot of the, the bells and whistles that you get on a lot of uh, the newer boats. I, I think the most high-tech piece of equipment I currently have is uh, my autopilot right here. This is my aft cabin here. I won't open that hatch um, because this is my storeroom. So it, it helps me keep the main cabin clear of clutter, uh, but this is full. <laughs> Now 
one thing you'll notice on, on a small 30 foot two footer is uh, the amount of space is, is a lot less than what you'll have on bigger boats. Um, for example, this is the main the main saloon. I have a small galley over here, and then over there my V berth, which is where I sleep. The sailing experience I had before I bought the boat was uh, very much zero. I was at a time in my life where I, I just felt I needed more purpose, um, to live with more purpose. And the opportunity came along uh, for me to buy a boat, um, but at the time I had no idea how to sail the boat or anything about boats. So my sailing plans at the moment are to eventually sail around the world single-handed. This uh, season, 2019, I'm going to be doing the Mediterranean. And then in January 2020, I'll be crossing the Atlantic and onto the rest of the world. Now, Roma, funny enough, she can, uh, she has got a place for six six people to sleep. So two in the front, two on, on, on either side in the main saloon. I mean, this this must be for a kid. Um, yeah, but that, um, which you don't want to record, <laughs> you can actually put your legs in there. We are definitely recording no! this. No! <laughs> <laughs> Roma is a very basic boat. She's old, um, so she's got a lot of old, old school equipment. None of the new, newer technologies. My domestic in-house uh, equipment is, is very limited. Um, I do have running water, however, I do not have hot water. I mean, I don't have heating, so that can get a bit, be a bit of a problem when you're on anchorage and it's, you know, it gets a bit cold. I don't have a water maker, so therefore I've got a 150 liter tank, uh, water tank. Um, that obviously needs to be refilled uh, when it when it becomes empty. So that can be quite a task in itself. I don't have solar power yet. Uh, this is something that I'm going to be installing in the near future. So I'm running off uh, battery packs most of the time, and which means I need to run my engine maybe for an hour every day, um, depending on how much battery power I've used. Because um, currently I have 200 uh, amp hour uh, of battery power. Um, right, so this galley is uh, a nice little, very, Simple galley. Um, I've got my gas stove over here as well as uh, an oven that I've never actually used before. You've never used your oven? I'm not really one for baking, so... Okay, where is your fridge? My fridge? Uh, you're sitting on it. <laughs> Am I sitting on your fridge? Yeah. Although, don't open it because that smell out. Oh, I don't want that. Yeah, no, no. no. Uh, yeah. The best part about owning Roma is that she is a simple, very basic boat. And being a single-handed sailor, that is key to single-handed sailing, which is some simplicity. What I miss the most about being on Roma is, unfortunately, hot water. Why do you miss hot water? <laughs> <laughs> why, do I miss, why do I miss hot water? Well, put it this way. I spent 49 days in Portugal and 49 days without a hot shower. You will not believe how much you appreciate a hot shower after 49 days. And uh, there is nothing there, or is there? Oh, that's your head. Yeah, this is my head in here, but you don't want to look at it. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Please, <laughs> no, you don't. let's open. It's a toilet. <laughs> yeah, perfect. That's great. Yeah. Oh. Toilets are yeah. life. The great thing about having a manual, this particular manual pump toilet, is that because of its age, it's, it's got a lot of resistance with the pump. Um, so much that um, I don't have to go to gym anymore. I literally get a workout every time I go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> what an awesome feature. <laughs> <laughs> that was that that is really something I expect uh, no, from my what, toilet. Take a take, take those guns. <laughs> this physique. <laughs> it's all my toilet, baby. Oh uh, yeah, just just from going to the bathroom. More of the basic features of living on Roma and living this very basic lifestyle that I live is that things that are normal morning things in everyday life, such as uh, shaving. I have to shave out of a bucket. I have to wash my clothes in a bucket. I have to bath in the sea because I don't have a shower on board, but it's all just part of this great adventure lifestyle. The current market value of Roma is 15,000 euros. Although I have seen MacWester White's Mark IIs go for anything between 10 and 20,000 euros. The maintenance repairs um, are on average around 10,000 euros a year, um, depending on what could go wrong, because that could fluctuate up or down. But at, at this point in time, that's what I've spent this year. Marina fees. Now, the great thing with Roma being a 32 footer, which is under 10 meters, is that most marinas, you pay far less under 10 meters than you will for boats over 12 meters. So you really save on, on costs with that. So current costs are two, 250 euros a month. 
um, the fuel. Um, now, for example, I only uh, fill up at in Gibraltar when I go past there. Um, and well, that is the, the times that I have filled up now. So, you know, with it being duty free fuel, um, it's only cost me on average 23 euros a month. Insurance for Roma for the year now. Insurance, the way insurance works is that it, it works very much on areas. Some areas will be more expensive than others. Uh, currently, I'm paying 280 euros a year, uh, which covers the Mediterranean and the Portuguese, port, sorry, Portuguese Algarve coast, as well as uh, west, uh, west, Western Spain. And last but not least, my wishful bar budget for this year, considering the, the lifestyle that I live, is one million dollars. <laughs> uh, oh, you have to put it up. Oh, I should. Oh, God. You have no place in your budget. Um... I clearly do not have any place left in my in my budget for my bubble. So. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. The cost uh, for the market value of Polar Steel today is about 90,000 euros. All right, yeah, you can go on yachtworld.com, look for Benito Ocean, he's 40 from 2007, or probably a million out there, and that's about the around rough, rough price, price that they go for.